hi guys welcome back to my channel let's go mom nakia here again with another video so today's video we're going to talk about as the title goes five interesting countries that are looking for people to relocate there without a job offer yeah that's what we're going to talk about today so if this is something that you're interested in stay to the end of the video love you Hi guys so let's get straight into the video okay guys so we're going to talk about the visa that actually helps you to come to these countries or these european countries and other countries to actually look for a job without a job offer so remember two years ago uk started opening their stream or their pathway for foreigners coming to the country to work but they are actually giving you a job offer from the country before you can actually come into the country but now recently they are putting in strict measures to actually close this pathway just to say that they are reducing the number of people that are coming to the country and i know this is actually discouraging some people and some people's hope of traveling abroad you know has been shattered but i'm here to tell you that it hasn't gotten to that there are some countries that are actually looking for you to come to their country to work immediately all right so let's get straight into the video so the visa that we are talking about is the job seeking visa yeah the job seeking visa somebody will ask me what is the job seeking visa the job seeking visa is a six month visa that are given to people from outside this particular countries to come to the country without a job offer to actually now look for a job in that country all right you have all the resources and everything to look for a job in the particular country that gives you that gives you that particular visa okay somebody will say why should i travel all the way to countries to come and look for a job maybe because i'm working back in my home country so i'll say that the reason why this visa is also good or is good is because when people are recruiting they consider when you you are available to start let's say i am in the country i've got i have the job seeking visa that allows me so it starts work immediately all the processes have been done so i have to start work immediately when the job is being offered to me unlike you being in your home country when a job is even being offered to you you're not going to use that offer letter to apply for your visa to plan to travel and to come or if you have family you, have, you know you have to go through all the process but i'm already here so the employer will rather want to pick me over you if we have the same qualifications and also i get the opportunity to go for job fairs to know to get face to face with employers to get to know their salaries get to know their job culture and everything and to get to choose the one that i really want unlike the person that is back home that you just see the job description online so there are so many reasons why you should actually come for this particular offer so that you can look for a job in this part in these countries Okay, somebody also says that well, I can also come with a visiting visa and then look for a job. There's one thing that people don't know and then people are being lied to. Visiting visa doesn't allow you to work in any of the countries. It doesn't allow you to work. It doesn't allow you to rent. You are restricted on so many things. Only for the things that you actually wrote down that you're going to do. Just to visit and go back. Yeah, and there's time limit on these visits basis as well so comparing the two of them you don't want to come and then be wanting or like be depending on people to you know survive in that particular country and even sometimes switching from the visiting visa to working visa is very difficult don't let them lie to you i've been there before one day i'll share my story but not today so the job visa actually gives you the open doors to actually apply for as much as you can or any job that you want in these countries so somebody will say how can i be eligible for this particular job visa seeking visa that's what we're going into right now so the first thing is that you should be above 18 yeah if you're not 18 please mm -mm, don't even continue the second one is your passport everybody that is traveling needs an international passport i'm sure i'm a Ghanaian. if you're moving from kumasi to accra i'm sure you still use your passport i don't know but i do so you need your passport the second one is an approved trainee program or a vocational um training program like these are two programs that you should at least have so the approved training program that is uh, if you've gone through school they'll take your transcripts they'll just they'll compare your transcript to the the country's um standard of grading let's say if it's germany so 
So if they take your transcript, they have to compare it to German grading system and see if you're actually eligible for this particular visa. And then with the vocational one, you, this is where maybe if you are um, a skilled worker, like a plumber, a hairdresser, um, a mason, you have gone through a training and then you've gotten a certificate, a certified one, and then you have some work experience because if you are not satisfied certified like let's say you all you you just learned on youtube and started doing your own thing you are not eligible but if you've gone through a like a particular training that um that particular training has the power to give you certification certification and then you actually have the certification you can use that to apply for the job seekers visa so the next one that we're going to talk about is the relevant years or your job experience in that particular job that you want to come and apply for so if let's say you are a hairdresser obviously when you're coming to seek for the job seeking uh, job the, the visa you're not you'll not be looking for uh, maybe a receptionist job you'll be looking for a job in that particular field because you have to prove that you have worked at least one year in that particular field you have to prove that you have at least worked for one year it's different for modern countries but the minimum is one year okay yes and the next one that we're going to talk about is your proof of funds this is also something that is not um i can't say a fixed amount for this video because we are talking about five countries so it ranges but i'm going to give you the range so that if you want to go to the particular website you'll not be you'll not be surprised about uh, on what you see there so the range is around because most of them are european countries i'm going to use euros it's around 1500 to 5000 euros that's the range so if you go there in if to their individual websites you're going to see the particular proof of fund that you need in your account when you apply for this job seekers visa the last one that people always find is difficult to actually succeed or go through is to learn the language most of these european countries don't speak english so if you speak english you're from ghana like me you need to at least upgrade yourself or learn their language and mind you they are not looking for you to learn their language to come and write exams or anything they want you to know that at least you'll be able to communicate in few sentences in their country and there are so many apps out there that are going to, that can help you actually learn this language and one is duolingo duolingo i'll, I'll put the link there yeah so they just want to know that you can communicate good morning how are you i'm fine you know your name where are you from those kind of short short interaction if you're a new country you are in a new country you can have that's what they want so you can go there and don't let this discourage you okay so let's move straight to the countries so this country that i'm going to talk about will be germany i know a lot of you know about this german job seeking visa it has been in the system for a while now people are talking about it and they are making new updates about it. germany is looking for people so if you are eligible with all these things that i i mentioned start applying now if you're not to so start preparing yourself to apply because you've not closed it yet okay the next place is austria austria is also a very nice place it's a good place to actually live you can check their economy is very good if you go there you're going to do well and mind you when you get a job in these particular countries you'll be able to extend um, your visa to a longer stay and then you can bring in your family as well the next place i'm going to talk about is sweden sweden is also a nice european country that you really want to work there their economic the economy is very good you can check it out and then you'll find good jobs there as well just learn some of their language and you'll be fine portugal portugal as you all know it's also an european country and they are looking for people to come and work there immediately with this job seeking visa so you can go there and find out their requirements and apply the last place i'm going to talk about is dubai which is not part of the european country but they are also looking for people to come to their country to work or to use the job seeking visa to come and look for a job in their country so if you want to travel to dubai you can also go to their website and look for their requirements and apply there they also pay well and i think they are tax free so everything that you earn goes into your pocket thank you i'll see you in the next video like comment if you've not joined this particular family please subscribe and then i'll see you in the next video love you bye